second attempt to land at Kazan Airport in central Russia. You can see where Kazan is on the map there. We're now hearing all 50 passengers and crew have been killed on that plane. Uh, details are still pretty sketchy, but they're still coming to land. The flight number so far unconfirmed, but this is the uh, best we have so far. We're just getting pictures through now from seen as you can say. Uh, the think the flight number is flight U9363, a Tatarstan Airlines flight that originated from Moscow's Domodedovo Airport earlier on today. Uh, early indications suggest there was a technical problem with that aircraft and there were cockpit errors showing. That's what the emergency services are saying by the Interfax News Agency. Um, as I was mentioning earlier on, uh, the Russian aviation industry, of course, uh, got a fair bit of bad press, especially in the last 10 years. Every time a crash had happened, um, most of the time it had been happening with a Soviet-era plane, most notably maybe a Tupolev 154, which is one of the Russian workhorses of the sky in its days. Um, they've all been pretty much phased out now by uh, most of the companies. If you ever travel to uh, Russia, you'll see very few of them. Um, most companies now use uh, Western planes, Boeings or Airbuses. In fact, the Boeing 737 is the best-selling jet airliner in the history of aviation. Production of that model 